Hi, I'm Nick with Zingtree. This is the first video in our Zingtree Basics series, where I'll be walking you through the basics of building out your conversational workflows. Today, we'll take a high-level look at the key things you should know before you start building. In future videos, we'll dive in deeper on the actual building process. Pre-planning is one of the best things you can do to set yourself up for success with Zingtree. We have a whole article on pre-planning strategies, which is linked below. I highly recommend you check it out, but some of the important questions to ask yourself are, who all is going to be using Zingtree? Do you have multiple departments or multiple teams in different locations that might need different access levels? What processes do you currently have and how can you optimize them? How are your users going to be accessing your workflows? Let's unpack these questions a bit more. We'll start with organizations. Organizations house all of your trees and users. You can have a single org or multiple orgs within your Zingtree account, and there are pros and cons for both approaches. The vast majority of our customers have all of their trees and users in a single org, but there are benefits to multiple orgs the more people and departments you have. Multiple orgs allow you to separate groups by categories like department, country, or the language of your trees. Separate orgs also allow you to separate your reporting and track your billing rates by organization. An important thing to remember with organizations, though, is that your agents and trees can only be part of one organization at a time. For example, an agent in Org A can't see or access trees in Org B unless you move them from Org A to Org B. At that point, your agent would see the trees in Org B, but would no longer be able to see the trees in Org A. The same is true for trees. If you have a tree in Org A that you also need in Org B, you'll need to make a copy of it and move it into Org B. If you ever need to make updates to the tree, you'll need to make edits in both Org A and org B. If you're using a single org, then using tags is going to be important for you. Tags help you manage who has access to what trees and help you manage your reporting too. Check out our help center for more on how you can utilize tags. Next, let's look at user permissions. Within Zingtree, there are four different roles. Billing admins, super users, authors, and agents. Billing admins and super users have the highest permission levels. They have access to all workflows and organizations in your account. They're able to add new users and change their permission levels. The only difference between billing admins and super users is that billing admins receive invoices and receipts and are able to cancel the subscription. Billing admins will also receive contract renewal notifications. Authors have the ability to create and make changes to workflows and can be part of multiple organizations. A super user or billing admin will need to set them up. You can follow the instructions in the Authors and Collaborators article in our Help Center. One important note here. After the author has been set up in Zingtree, they will receive an invitation to set up their new login credentials. They'll need to follow the instructions in that email for their author account to be fully activated. Agents have the simplest level of access and can only be in one organization at a time. By default, agents will have access to all the trees in an org unless you utilize tags to limit their access. There are several different ways agents can access workflows. The first is through an integration with your CRM or call center. You can integrate your Zingtree workflows directly into the solution your agents are already using. The integration section of our Help Center has more info on how to do this. The second way your agents can access your workflows is through the Zingtree agent portal. They'll use the username and password you set up for them and log in through the website displayed on the screen. Our Help Center also has more information on how to set up agents and agent portal. Now let's talk about trees. Trees are the workflows and scripts you create. Creating and editing trees is all done through the Zingtree website. Our no-code solution allows you to build powerful trees right out of the box. You can make basic customizations like adding your brand colors, or you can take your trees to the next level by using CSS to completely customize the layout of your trees. Check out what JBL and Sleep Number have done. Customizing usually works best after you've finished building a tree. If you have access to technical resources that can do this kind of work for you, now would be a good time to reach out and get them involved in the implementation. Now let's talk about nodes. Nodes are the building blocks of all your trees. Simply put, a node is any one step in your workflow or script. When the step is reached, it does a thing. That thing can be collecting data, it can be a simple or advanced logic expression, it can send emails, SMS, or Slack messages, or it can generate documents. Regardless of what the node is doing, remember that in order for it to work properly, it must be connected to another node. Connections are usually made by buttons, but there are a few other methods which we'll cover later in the series. There are six different types of nodes. Content nodes are going to make up the bulk of your trees. 
They're how you display content to your agents and collect information from your customers. Email nodes do exactly what you think they do. They allow you to send automatic or manual emails. Logic nodes are a powerful tool that allow you to automate your workflows with either simple or advanced rules. This is going to help take the heavy lifting off your agents and simplify your processes. Link nodes allow you to link to an external web page directly within your conversational workflow. Document nodes allow you to generate or display a document based upon rules, variables, and data entries. Tree nodes allow you to link to and from other Zing trees. Pro building tip, creating a large tree with hundreds of nodes can get messy real quick. Additionally, trees with hundreds of nodes, logic processes, or images can get bogged down when making edits. Use tree nodes to help break your trees up into smaller processes for easier management. Let's put this into context. Say the bulk of your calls end in a warranty claim. The process for filing a warranty claim is the same regardless of the product. You can have trees for each of your products and a tree for the warranty process. When it comes time to file a warranty claim in one of your product processes, you can link directly to the tree with your warranty process. This will save you from having to recreate the warranty process in every one of your product trees. Your workflows are going to flow best when you're able to keep your nodes as concise as possible. People new to Zingtree often start by transferring a spreadsheet workflow word for word. This can lead to a lot of content. During your pre-planning, you want to look at all of your trees and focus on what needs to be said. Pair them down to simple questions and answers or steps. Use link nodes and persistent buttons for additional info your agents may need. Now let's get into variables. Zingtree utilizes variables to open a number of possibilities for you and your agents. With variables, you can collect and pass information, complete math operations, and display information in your tree. Variables also allow for two-way communication between Zingtree and your CRM or call center. Another pro building tip, we recommend having a consistent naming scheme for variables. At Zingtree, we use all lowercase letters in our variable names. Also note that you can't have spaces in variable names. You'll use underscores in lieu of spaces. Lastly, let's talk about Logic. Logic is a powerful tool that opens up a number of options for automations. It allows you to create workflows where the end user never has to remember information from where they've been. Using the values of variables, you can direct your agents to the right place in your workflow. We'll get into this in much more detail in our video on Logic Nodes, but as part of your pre-planning, start looking for steps in your current processes where you can save your agents time by using Logic. Now that you have a better idea of what Zingtree can do, let's jump in and explore more on building. Over the following videos in this series, we'll cover the hands-on building portion. We'll see you there.